Today's video was made possible by Atlas VPN. Get powerful protection for your internet surfing by using the link in the description and in the pinned comment to get a three year plan of Atlas VPN premium for just $1.83 a month, plus an extra three months free, all with a 30 day money back guarantee. Today we're gonna to look at an interesting determinant identity called Sylvester's determinant identity. And it has the power of changing a large determinant or the determinant of a large matrix into the determinant of a small matrix. So that means this possibly gives you a lot of time saving if you're asking a computer to calculate the determinant of a really big matrix. Okay, so anyway, let's look at the setup. Let's suppose that A is an M by N matrix and that B is an N by M matrix. So let's notice that the product of A times B is an M by M matrix. And that's because you get the size by kind of these outside numbers here, as long as the inside numbers match, then you're allowed to do the multiplication in the first place. Furthermore, B times A is an N by N matrix. So unless M and N are the same, A times B and B times A are different sized square matrices. Okay, so what is this determinant identity? Well, it goes like this. So the determinant of the identity matrix plus A times B is the same thing as the determinant of the identity matrix times B times A or plus B times A. And that's where we're taking the appropriately sized uh, identity matrix. So you might say, how might this be useful? And we alluded to that earlier. Let's say that M is a fairly small number, but N is a very large number. That means that the time to compute this left-hand side is much smaller than the time to compute this right-hand side. So if you have a matrix and you want to calculate its determinant, Perhaps you could either write it in this form or you could approximate it by a matrix in that form and then maybe flip this to a smaller determinant, thus saving you lots of computational time. Okay, anyway, let's sketch a proof of this identity and then we'll look at a really basic example. Okay, let's maybe start with the left hand side. So we have the determinant of this identity matrix plus A times B. I'll stop writing the subscript of the identity matrix. It'll be clear from context. And let's notice that this is the same thing as the determinant of the following block matrix. And that block matrix has I plus A times B here in that upper block, zero here, B here, and then I down here. Okay, and I guess it might be useful to point out that this block here is M by M. This block here is, let's see, N by M, which means this identity matrix is N by N, which means over here, this is a zero matrix, which is like M by N, just for what it's worth. Next up, we'd factor this block matrix, and that factors kind of obviously as follows. So we'll have the determinant of, we have the matrix IA, and then zero I times the block matrix I minus A, and then B times I. So something like that. So notice if we were to multiply these two block matrices, we definitely end up with what's above. Now I'm gonna introduce a little notation for the next couple of steps just to make everything work a little bit easier. Let's talk, let's call this block matrix X and we'll call this block matrix here Y. Okay, now we can use a standard rule for determinants that says that this is the determinant of X times the determinant of Y. Using fancy words, the determinant is some sort of homomorphism from matrix multiplication into just multiplication of real numbers. And then, well, now that we're in multiplication of real numbers over there with the determinants, we have commutativity. So this gives us the determinant of Y times the determinant of X. 
but now we can put this back together into the determinant of the matrix Y times the matrix X. So let's rewrite those down here. We have I minus A, B, I, and then I, A, zero, I. Great. But now if we multiply those block matrices, we'll get the determinant of, let's see what this boils down to. We'll have I zero B and then I plus B A in that lower entry. But now if we take that determinant using standard rules about determinants of block matrices, we get exactly what we want. That is we have the determinant of I plus B A. Okay, but now starting over here at the extreme left-hand side, we see that we have achieved exactly what we want on this extreme right-hand side. Okay, so now that we've done this, albeit short proof, let's look at an example. Now I'd like to talk to you about the sponsor of today's video, Atlas VPN. First off, they are the most affordable choice. A three-year plan is only $1.83 a month, and you get three months for free. I think that's a crazy good deal. So often when I'm traveling at conferences or giving math talks, I often like to unwind at the end of the night by watching my favorite streaming service. But sometimes if I'm out of the country, the same titles are not available. You can set your IP address to be any country. So when I'm traveling, maybe I'll set it back to the US to watch my favorite shows that I've been watching at home. Or maybe when I'm at home, I'll set it to somewhere in Europe or Australia and unlock some content that is not available in the United States. So next up, Atlas VPN allows you to protect unlimited devices because I not only have a laptop, but you know I also want it on my phone and on my tablet. And the ability to protect all of my devices with one account and actually all of the devices of my family members too is just super convenient. So my next reason is one that not everyone talks about all the time, the ability to save money while shopping online. So sometimes when I'm searching for plane tickets, I've noticed that if you change your IP address to a different country, you could end up with cheaper flights. Next up, you can stop malware and be protected from the sneaky little trackers that are inside internet ads. Finally, one of the most important points is to keep your internet traffic private. You might think that when you open that incognito tab that no one can tell what's going on, but your ISP is still tracking you. And maybe the best and easiest way to keep that from happening is with a VPN. And you know, like we've been talking about this whole time, I think Atlas VPN for all of these reasons and more is really your best choice on the market right now. Their apps work on all major platforms and operating systems and offer hassle-free, lightning fast, premium VPN protection. Get this incredible limited time deal now because you can get Atlas VPN premium for only $1.83 a month, plus three months extra, and just in case you also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. Protect your privacy and get many benefits of Atlas VPN at this ridiculously low price. You can take this deal by clicking on the link in the description or in the pinned comment below. And once again, I'd like to thank Atlas VPN for sponsoring today's video. So let's say our goal is to find the determinant of the following four by four matrix. So by the standard way of calculating determinants of larger matrices, that is we have cofactor expansion, this would take forever. But perhaps we could notice this as one of these forms up here. And in fact, we can, we see that this is the identity matrix plus something. In fact, this is the determinant of the identity matrix plus the following like outer product of two vectors. So we have the vector x, y, z, w outer producted with the vector a, b, c, d. In other words, the column vector x, y, z, w times the row vector a, b, c, d. So that gives us exactly what we have here. Okay, but now let's notice that this is a four by four identity matrix. 
but using our proposition, we can write this as the determinant of the identity matrix plus those two matrices multiplied in the other order. So this would be A, B, C, D, which is obviously a one by four matrix, but it's also a row vector times the column vector or the four by one matrix X, Y, Z, W. But notice this will give us a scalar, a one by one matrix, which means this identity matrix is a one by one identity matrix. In other words, it's just the number one. So that means we're essentially just taking the determinant of a one by one matrix, which is just the number that it is. So if you think about a one by one matrix as just a scalar, well, the determinant is just that number. So in the end, we'll have one plus AX plus BY plus CZ plus DW, as that's what we get for this product. So that's a quick way of calculating this large determinant. So of course this is not always applicable, but when it is applicable, it's a huge time saver. And that's a good place to stop. Thanks for watching and sticking around until the end of the video. And since you're here, don't forget to gently press that like button. Subscribe, ring the bell, and select all notifications to never miss a video. If you want to get your name in the credits like you see here, access the live seminar series, review videos before release, and more, go to patreon.com slash michaelpinmath and become a Patreon member today. If you want full ad-free course content, subscribe to my second channel, Math Major. I've got courses on linear algebra, complex analysis, and proof writing, among several others. And that's everything. Bye.